Welcome to this video, playing Captain Picard, who um, changed nationality to Icelandic. <laughs> okay, so let's see. A Slav with Queen B3. Yeah, I like to play it with Bishop G5. This also E3 as a as a possibility. But um, always like this setup, which um, with rook on d1 makes it somewhat difficult for black to um, to get e5, c5, those kind of freeing moves in. Let's see what he's doing. I'm actually head on the clock. Does not happen often. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, taking in one move with the bishop is tempting, but if I take with the queen, he cannot play b5 at all. Okay, I guess still taking with the, the bishop should be better. Uh, interesting. Hmm. Yeah, I can just trade, which is not bad. But I can also try to play it a bit more interestingly. Bishop f4, for example. Yeah, let's try bishop f4, a known plan from games of um, Alec Kine and Rubinstein. This um, interesting structure here with the double pawn, but it um, ensures wide and excellent central control. So the double pawn is not uh, really a big issue. Black has problems freeing his position with e5 or c5. White... Uh, Retains very nice activity. Yeah, hmm. what what to do here? Very interesting move. Yeah, I wonder if I should take with the bishop and just play on on the weaknesses. Maybe do that. It's not. It's always somewhat tricky decision because of the light squares. But yeah, the bishop is on b seven. Um, how to set up the pieces now optimally. The knight on c3 is, uh, is not good. Maybe I can get it to c1 to d3, this kind of this kind of maneuver. Or to b3 actually would also be nice. I think I'll try that. One knight to d3, this knight to d3. Okay, he's freeing um, immediately um, okay they have the long diagonal hmm. well, yeah interesting the the question is if a bishop takes can he play d4 maybe but he cannot go queen d5 this is very important okay or should i play ah, yeah, i probably must do this putting it on d4, reliably blockading the pawn, or maybe rook d4, knight c3, to increase the pressure. Yeah, better than blocking an isolated pawn is winning it. Aha, uh -huh, so he's just giving the pawn away for for control, or, or for activity of the log, uh, the log diagonal. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but I can play knight f5, which, which looks good, I think. Threatens on d5 with knight e7. And here I get, I get lots of activity, actually. Or knight goes back to e3, which is a very good square. Knight on e3 protects the g2 square, which is always tricky. Or I could actually go to, to d6 here in this position. Uh, probably not. Knight d6 is not really um, doing that much. Yeah, so... A nice end game with uh, an extra pawn, but it's a double pawn. And um, mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. yeah, probably. Check. 
probably still do that. And then the queens get traded or I get I get centralized. After a queen move like queen f6, I have queen d7 with a double attack on the bishop and queen e8. I don't think he has a very active square now for the queen. Queen e7, I go queen d4 and uh, take this um, pretty active position in the center. Okay, if I move the queen now, he will have this check on c1. That's not good. Hmm. Yeah, the check is a bit bit of a problem. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe look again here. Queen queen d7 if i i have also queen f5 queen d1 is no problem maybe queen f5 on queen d7 could be an idea or he goes to d8 yeah. no it doesn't okay well I, i'm protecting g2 so um oh mate on g7 Let's see, now it gets tricky. How do you defend g7 and b7? Yeah, I can, I win a bishop here, right? Queen f8 is the only move to protect the mate. Yeah, the that was, was very helpful that he uh, allowed that. Okay, I'm, I'm clearly better, but how is white winning? Hmm. Not so easy. Yeah, right here, this is an interesting uh, way to play. Black has some problems with uh, with his pieces. Maybe he should play slowly with b6, bishop b7. Here, I don't know. I mean, I have a very nice uh, a grip on the on the position with the knights. I'm I'm not sure. It's uh, it's interesting. I don't think that this is. I'm, too, I'm surprised. Stockfish here gives black an advantage, which I really cannot believe. I mean, why should black be better? Yeah, yeah I know two bishops and so on, but I have a pretty nice um, blockade here on c5. Best that they can do is c5, and this still leaves me with a good position. Hmm. This is what Stockfish wants to play. I don't really understand why this is uh, so great. I go queen c3, others ah, there's b4, okay. So let's say, okay, I didn't want to go here. Mm, yeah, I cannot really increase the control over c5. This is, this is a slight problem. Bishop c8, yeah. Mm, yeah, maybe, maybe. Maybe this isn't so great. I mean, the way it the way it happened was quite nice. D4 is an interesting decision. I mean, uh, you're very passive if you don't do it. So maybe uh, this was was interesting. Check. Yeah, and here basically just a pawn up. But this uh, this now is uh, yeah. This is definitely losing. Queen f8 was the only uh, playable move, but after no queen c7, white is, white is clearly better. He really probably should have um, considered uh, this position a bit more, a bit more carefully, and um, I guess black should be okay. Yeah, now bishop d5 is a debatable move because you weaken the light squares, and uh, these are already a slight issue. This is why I also hesitated a bit with the move, or I had my doubts when I played it. Maybe it is better to just drop the bishop back and go for ideas like this, knight e4, rook c1, knight c5. This is certainly playable for white. Okay, thanks for watching.